I had to pick what's the favorite place in the world where uh, my wife Birgit and I would go, it would be East Africa. Second favorite is Antarctica. Third favorite is India. But Africa is the first favorite. There's no place in the world other than East Africa where you can stand in one place in, in the middle of migration in Serengeti, for example, and see hundreds, well, tens and tens of thousands of living things as far as the eye can see in all directions. So we've been there a number of times. In fact, I've been to Africa so many times, I can recognize some lions' faces on television. Actually, I have a name for this particular lion. We nicknamed him Rod Stewart. It's his favorite uh, copy, as they're called, K-O-P-J-E. It's uh, Afrikaans word for a uh, rock outcrop. It means head, I think, in Afrikaans. And this is uh, a, a granite, uh, erosional feature of a granite, a uh, batholith they call them, that's now been eroded around and they stick up like these great steep-sided domes. I wanted to have a wall, I wanted to have it almost theatrical. I wanted to have a, a big wall of granite. Granite erodes in a way that's called exfoliated, peels off like an onion. It shears off, which accounts for it being so steep. It doesn't get little valleys in it. It just peels off like that. And so it was quite tricky painting the peeling off and yet having it go around like a wall and not jump all over the place. That would be too jumpy from contrast. So the rocks are pretty legitimate. The grass is pretty legitimate. I, of course, was echoing Rod Stewart's hair with the grasses in front of his legs. That sort of tousled swing, sort of rhythmic and tousled at the same time. Um, I, I'm quite sure that I still agree with that, the white, the bright rock in the left foreground. It, cre it creates an added, uh, um, you're looking at it obliquely and it's running into the picture. I could have kept going out with the, this is a choice I made. I wanted to be looking edgewise at granite and the way it exfoliates there. I also was quite conscious, as you get to the edge of the painting, uh, it gets blown away into whiteness. So the upper right corner and the lower left corner also are both white, but one is soft because it's going away from you. So as you go off that corner, it's just sort of poof. It's um, got no detail and it's very, very high key. And it's <laughs> modulated going from light to dark as you go across that face, getting darkest behind the, uh, the male lion there.